Welcome to the Andra. Oh. What was that? Live from the studios of Coefficient Media in Jackson, Michigan, this episode is brought to you by Coefficient Media. Yeah, this is the Android App Show, episode number 77. This week we have some more bad patent news to talk about and some blow-your-mind games. Good news. Here we go. Welcome to the Android App Show. Yeah! Do it! The future of the telephone business is bright and rich with promise for the millions of telephone users like yourselves whose quick acceptance and ready use of each improvement in telephone service has helped make possible an endless chain of accomplishments. What will it be this time? Welcome to the Android App Show, everybody. It's a refreshing, huh? Mm-hmm. I've, been having, <laughs> I've been having quite a bit of coffee this afternoon, and uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm uh, ready to do this show. Going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> well, we, uh, we are going to be recording this show with a couple new features today. Yeah. So, good news for those of you that like new things. There's some new things. Uh, unfortunately, there's yeah one new thing that we don't have. Not yet. No Google TV update. So, and still, you with that? Uh, still old. And you got the Sony here. I was telling I a friend I might have to arm wrestle you for this thing now because it's, it's gonna co- it's gonna get the update first. I'm gonna have it like a day before you. I can't believe it too. I thought for sure Logitech would be the first ones out of the gate. Well, you know that Sony had to do their own arm wrestling with Google to get the update. Probably. So. Well, the, but you see, I guess Sony makes phones and tablets. Yeah, you know, you know right, Logitech true. doesn't. So, but and they actually make a TV with it built in. Yeah, I almost wonder if I wonder which one is the larger one. You know, because yeah. I wonder if there were less Sony sales, and that's why they got the update first, so it'll be less of a uh, of a hit. You know, slower well, rollout. Well, I can tell Sony had. I mean, because they have it on two devices, one on like multiple size TVs and stuff. So yeah. Sony made the bigger investment in going with Google yeah, that's TV. That's true. That's true. Uh, that Logitech is just one box. Yeah, but and but a lot I, more people. I'm bought. pretty sure that yeah, more people bought the Logitech box. And Google likes it better because that was the thing that they sent out to developers. Yeah. Because it was the cheapest. How do you like that? Yeah, I liked it because they sent me one. Yeah. Well, now they're only ninety nine bucks to yeah. buy them. I think it's the one you have actually. Yeah. So who you know who knows, but the the bad part about it is though Intel is abandoning their system on a chip business, Ugh, so they've really? been burned. Too bad, too bad. Future Google TV stuff's probably all going to be based on ARM, mm-hmm. but we'll Makes see. Makes sense. Well, I mean, if they're doing that, what for the phones? Why not? It's yeah. cheap. That's that's what. Uh, and Intel keeps talking like they're trying to get into the phone market. So yeah, maybe if they get some platform harmonization, it won't matter anyway. What you know, your device runs on. And it's kind of the same model that Google TV is doing. Google TV is just basically, I mean, Apple TV. Yeah, Apple TV. Is basically just a uh, iPhone without a screen. Yeah. With an HDMI plug instead. So. Yeah, I think that was the right way to go. <sighs> it's all, all Android. Right. Well, let's get into some Apple news. That's right. I said Apple news because that's, uh, that's what the first story is about. It's not going to be just Android. This is some bad, bad news. Okay. The first story we have, Apple has been granted the slide to unlock patent. So some pretty bad stuff. Um, Waiting for Dave here. Next slide, Dave. Boom. Mm -hmm. Slide to unlock patent. These are new features right here. Yeah. So uh, first thing, every Android phone is going to be affected by this. Uh, it doesn't matter what you have. They all use this patent because you just touch something on the screen and you manipulate it to move to another area to unlock the phone. That's pretty much what the, the summary of the patent is. Total bummer. Uh, but there is some good news uh, because the new version of Android has introduced uh, this feature called Face Unlock. Uh, so they potentially, Google potentially has something that can work around it. you got to do the next one. you got to keep up with me, Dave. Yeah, just give me a thing like give me a finger gesture. Like, okay. Like <laughs> uh, swipe to. But yeah, the face unlock essentially lets you look at your phone instead of having to slide something to unlock it. Uh, and I don't know. We could see some changes happen because the the patent thing. I'm, I'm trying to figure out where this. It's not going to affect BlackBerry. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you might see some changes to, uh, the Android operating system to be more like Blackberry's system. Um, because on Blackberry's, you just hit the wake button and it's unlocked. Mm -hmm. You don't have to slide anything after that. You just tap the button and it's done. So I don't know which way they're going to go. If, if they're going to just implement face unlock, uh, or if they're just going to, uh, go with unlock only. So, yeah, yeah sorry. Getting, getting in the way there. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that's, that's bad news. Bad news bears for everybody. Um, but the next one is... Some not for everybody, not for Apple. Well, yeah, not for <laughs> Apple, whatever. For everybody that... Ev anything that anybody cares about on this show, it's bad news. So, yeah. uh, the next one's some pretty good news, though. Uh, Samsung sales are beating Apple. And this is, you know, it's this not is, by a little bit. This is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> well, we saw last quarter when they, they were approaching or whatever, and it was like, yeah, you know, they're going to surpass, but who knows when they release the iPhone, it could yeah. be blah, blah, blah. No. Uh, if you uh, pull, if you look at the graph, which we'll show you here in a second, it's an 11 million unit gap, which is quite large. Um, and the Apple momentum is negative. So their well, sales uh, are actually going down. Does this include after iPhone 3GS or after iPhone um, 4S? 4S? No. Okay. No, it's from the uh, just the last quarter. I have seen a ton of people getting 4Ss. Like, yeah. <laughs> it, it seems like more than when the 4 came out. Like people, they're just pent up demand. Well, you know, when... The f yeah. I guess from people when they had the 3G and the 3GS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, well, you know, everybody bought that 3GS mm -hmm. and then ended up having to skip the 4. Yep. Uh, which for a lot of people is a smart move because yeah. these phones are universal now. The 4S works on all the American carriers. Yeah. So pretty good stuff. It'll well, be interesting. Except for T-Mobile. It'll be interesting to see like this, this next quarter. Like it's not that I expected Apple to drop. It's just... It will be interesting to see once the new phone drops, like what is what's going to be like, because this is like it's crazy for Android. Android is like rocking it right now, especially yeah. Samsung. Yeah, and of course we have a graph for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like graphs. Yeah, so if we can go ahead and pull that one up, uh, boom. Mm. Oh. So you can see from the last quarter when they were they were pretty much, you know, right tight together. Apple at the lead. Mm. Samsung is just boom. I mean taken right off yeah. there's no kia there for comparison wow <laughs> but yeah that is wild like apple just like went down and there's some criticism too about this because they're saying it's vendor shipments it's not actual sales but there's not a lot yeah. of people just hold you know these phones are being sold yeah they're not like the the tablet issue where a bunch of them got shipped and none of them were sold these samsung right. phones are going like crazy yeah well, I mean, Samsung's doing it well. They're they are crushing it. Yeah, As it's a, it's a exponential growth. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like it was pretty high before, and then yeah. it's killed it up a little bit more, even. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we'll see how how far up that can go. I like graphs. Oh yeah, graphs they're are fun. Nice. You know, graphs are for geeks. Yeah, Nokia not doing so good. No. No, I don't think Windows Phone is going to help them either. <coughs> now, how is that spaced out, though? Q4, oh... Q1 of 09 is the are, first one. Those are all Qs. Yeah, each quarters. one is a quarter. Okay, I'm... So, in the Q2 of 10 is where you see Apple shoot up to yeah. Q3 of 10. I'm surprised okay. Nokia was in there for so long. I mean, continuing their, their growth. Yeah. And this is for smartphones. Like, Nokia is still the leader in all phone sales. Yeah. But for smartphone sales. Yeah, and they're, yeah, but, the, you know, the dumb phones are going out. So, uh, yeah, but that jump that you see, this is the one thing, though, Apple is going to pick back up because these are, this is the decline before the launch of a new phone. Everybody yep. anticipates it, the sales slow. You can see that, uh, the last one before they launched the iPhone 4, mm -hmm. and then it ticked up, you know, quite a bit. Um, yeah. And then you got this drop off again right before the iPhone 4S. So uh, we'll have to revisit this and see how much of a of an uptick. But this is smart for Samsung because they don't have they don't have one phone. No. Like they have a variety. They have a family of phones in different sizes, shapes, configurations. 
that anyone could use at any time. So they're yeah. not going to have that same kind of cycle. Yeah. I mean, they'll have they'll have some kind of cycle, but it'll be a lot shorter cycle because they can adjust it. Well, what I'm looking for is I uh, and I, I don't know if Apple will actually do this. We can debate whether or not they will, but uh, I'd like to see Apple move to a model more like their MacBook Airs yeah. or MacBooks or whatever, uh, where they just get a bump out of nowhere. There's not a design change or whatever. It's mm-hmm. just all of a sudden one day, boop, you have boop. higher end phone. Yeah. You know when you're buying them. So, uh, you- but a lot of them aren't sold. That's the that's the one thing that could be against it. They have a smaller footprint in third party retailers with these MacBooks. Yeah. Uh, but the iPhone is everywhere. And you were hypothesizing something crazy about like a six month cycle. Yes. Like moving moving that up a little bit. Yeah, because the Android community that it iterates so much. You know, you you get this stuff on you know every every quarter. There's the newest, the best, the fastest Android mm-hmm. phone. Uh, and Apple, it's only once a year. Uh, for me, it seems like it would be smart if they kind of shortened up their release schedule so that you had uh, a, a point release, you know, or a full integer release like the iPhone 4. And then six months later, iPhone 4S. And then a redesign at the one year point for the iPhone 5. Uh, because if you don't start right. speeding up these releases, I mean, for crying out loud, by the end of this year, we're going to have uh, quad core. Actually, five core, if you want to get uh, particular, you know, about it, uh, Android tablets. What? Yeah, it's, well, they, it's a quad core uh, processor with uh, my favorite term for it that I, I've seen on Android and me is the uh, Ninja Core, which is a, let's see, it's, it's basically a slower ARM chip that your tablet runs on when it's not running. Like you have it in sleep oh, mode yeah. or you're not really doing much with it. It's you like know, a standby taxing. chip. Yes, so you get much better battery life because you're not even firing up these high-end cores, not to mention just one of them. You know, With Ice Cream Sandwich, you have core scaling so that you can do one core, two cores, whatever, out of the quad cores. Uh, But when you're in sleep mode, those don't even come online. You're just just, on your old. It just keeps it alive. Yeah, so you know, pretty smart stuff. Uh, That's going to be out by the end of this year. Then you have supposedly the iPad 3, you know, coming out at the beginning of next year, who knows what that's going to look like yeah. or whatever. But unless they iterate again on the, on this stuff, mm-hmm. by the middle of next year, we're going to have quad core Android phones. OK. Yeah. And tablets that are looking to move past that. So the best that Apple can be doing is a dual core phone, which they have now, and possibly a quad core iPad at the beginning of the year, but they're not going to refresh that line again until the beginning of next year. Yeah. And I think the tablets are going to catch up to that. The phones are going to already be beating them. And by the time that Apple is ready to release a quad core phone, you know, yeah. Android's going to be moved way beyond that. Well, it's even more than just that. It's like from a strictly marketing perspective, people view these products as there's the Apple and then there's Android. Yeah. And, Android, like, and then there's sub brands of like the carry the the phone maker. But like, since Android is so fragmented, and there's so many different uh, people who make the phones, yeah. like they get the benefit of always being top of mind. Like they can always push a new phone, a new marketing campaign, a new thing. Apple has to wait every year, once a year, to do like a new campaign, and that is going to be a big problem. When yeah. people are hearing all this uh, movement or push forward in Android, and they're all competing against each other in the Android market or in the Android space to have the best phone out there, it's really going to be it's going to make the the iPhone look like a second class citizen as far as marketing goes. Yeah, so you're right. I, I agree think, with you 100. percent I think they really have to like. And, and the funniest part about it though is that Apple is supposed to be the best at marketing. Right. And they're going to paint themselves into a corner. Yeah. And up until this point, it's worked fine. Yeah. Um, Because it's been simple. They've been using the computer model. But, you know, after this, you know, it's it's going to it's just going to become a whole new ball game. Yeah. The whole thing of it reiterating over and over again. That's what works for startups. If you that's what lets these companies be small and nimble and outcompete larger companies. If Apple sticks (laughs) to the strict model, 
you know, they're just going to blow themselves up. And it usually works. I mean, it works in most markets to do that. In computers, it works. You can do a yearly release. In even MP3 players, it kind of works. Yeah. But in a market that's so competitive as phones, it just doesn't work anymore. It kind of, you kind of lose that marketing ability. Even though they're great phones, I mean, they're good. Well, but if you think about it, even computers don't do a yearly release, though. Apple doesn't do that. You know, they have the big refreshes, you know, with uh, the model changes, et cetera. But then they have minor point bumps. Right. So, uh, again, I think that they're going to have to go to that. Of course, you know, we've been talking about this for a long time on every show that we do. These are computers. They're not phones that run apps. They are computers that make phone calls. (laughs) So, yeah. you know, the quicker that people get with that mindset, the better off they're going to be. Because I think the public's going to get with that as well. I'm already in that mindset with that new Samsung one. Yeah. The Samsung Note. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I Give can't that to me that. now. I can't believe how big that is. That's way too big. Yeah. I like it big. Well, you know, with a Bluetooth headset, you use it. But to me, it's like you would look ridiculous holding it up. I mean, we made fun of the... Uh, Dell Streak endlessly. Oh yeah, this five inch. We're like, yeah, you look like an idiot holding a five inch, but now we got you know four point six five inch screens. That, that was a different time, Lane. Yeah, it was a different. We time. weren't we weren't ready. The Dell Streak was ahead of its time. Ah, uh, like the iPack. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh man. Well, something else that was ahead of its time. <laughs> the Google TV apparently. Uh, it was supposed to be running apps, you know, a while ago, I thought. Web but apps. Uh, now there's going to be uh, an actual release. Oh, good. Uh, so that the, you know, we're getting Honeycomb on the Google TV, <coughs> Android 3.1. Uh, so maybe sometime towards the end of next year, we'll get Ice Cream Sandwich. Yeah, go ahead and check for, see if the update's come through yet. Oh, yeah, I'll do that. that. Um, but the, uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is not all hardware uh, is created equally because the uh, Sony devices are going to be getting the first update, which I'm kind of crying about. Uh, we've debated back and forth why. You know, is it you know because they make all these devices, whatever? Uh, maybe because they're just bigger Android players. But to me, I thought that the Logitech box was going to be you know favored because it was the developer device. You would think so, but I guess not. Nope. Uh, the other thing you should keep in mind is that even though it's going to be running apps. Uh, it's not going to run all Android apps. Uh, they have to make it so, like the developer has to make it so that the app doesn't require a touch interface, which up until this point has been a second, you know, it hasn't even been a second thought because all the Android devices are touch interface. Uh, and now all these things are going to be kind of like up in the air. So a lot of games that won't exactly translate yeah. or whatever, uh, you could play them with a mouse, sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they're going to have to switch that over. So like Angry Birds, let's say Angry Birds requires a touch interface. You could play that with your mouse on the Google TV, click and drag back the bird and launch it, you know. Uh, But unless they take that requirement off, it won't show up in the market for Google TV. Yeah. So we'll have to see about that. Um, But the other big news that we have related to this is we're going to be relaunching the Google TV show. Uh, we haven't done that in quite a while, uh, and it's mostly because... It's been uh, dumb. Yeah, it has been, <laughs> has been dumb. So, uh, we, But we're going to relaunch that and start talking a lot more about Google TV apps. So uh, stay tuned for that. We'll let you know when the, when the next one comes out, mainly when we get the update. We might have to <laughs> we do, can start reviewing apps. We might have to redo <laughs> the logo, because like, that's kind of like a very beta logo. And that was yeah. intended for the design there. That's like, what the logo still looks like for Google TV, though. I know. We can do a little. They stuck with there. it. Make do it some, put some shine on it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Clean that up a little. Although, have you seen the new. Okay. So that is what the logo looks like. But they have another logo, too. What? With the. Uh, no, I haven't seen. What, it's what like a weird, like, round circle with, like. It looks like um, the the windows it's just a bunch of squares that are off center in a circle well the, with the nine squares in there right yeah yeah i've seen that one that one they've used forever no, well it's like but they're not they're like rectangles they're not squares they're like different size things. oh oh i see what you're saying yeah it's weird almost Maybe like I'll, live tiles or whatever like on yeah it's really the, uh, windows 8 that, Ex- that exactly like that interesting it mm-hmm. might they might have something up their sleeve they're not telling us about. Maybe I'll look up look it up while you talk about this next thing. 
yeah so that that's the last thing oh. <laughs> um but yeah so now that we have honeycomb on the way where's my ice cream sandwich for my google tv <laughs> yeah i'm hungry <laughs> let's uh let's keep it rolling right because mm-hmm. that's a, really the ice cream sandwich is supposed to be unifying all these devices it's funny to me that they're releasing ice cream sandwich now uh just well a few weeks at like because next month you know the beginning part of november is when this ice cream sandwich phone is coming out uh but we're getting honeycomb on the google tv right before the next version of android hits everything else uh that's kind of messy so hopefully this is the last time we're going to see this kind of uh uh slacking on paying attention to google tv yeah i don't see a thing in here oh well well we can put it up for a logo on the next show a lot of weird stuff So, uh, we uh, last week we didn't do any app reviews. This week I do have two, two app reviews. So, nice. pull these out here. Pull up the uh, the screen mirroring on the phone again. We well, got to do the, the nice app uh, first. Evo hack stuff here. Uh, but the the first app is Guns and Glory, uh, and this is uh, Guns and Glory World War Two. Very cool stuff uh, because this isn't your uh, this isn't your typical tower defense game, uh, though it is a tower defense game. Uh, one thing, though, I'm going to kind of close this so I can bring it up here. If we can pull up the phone so I can show you what it looks like when it launches. Uh, they, they've they got this uh, messy stuff here that when you when you open it up, they try and get you to buy other apps. So you can scroll through or whatever, but then you have uh. to click over here. Hmm. So I haven't seen that before. On a game. They're getting tricky, aren't they? Yeah. So the Guns and Glory World War Two. And then they hit the buy button is the buy coins or whatever. So you can pick uh the Axis powers or, you know, mm-hmm. the Allied powers. Uh and right now there's only let's see. There's these three levels here. I'm still on level one. I haven't started playing uh, level two. And then level three is unlocked. I have to beat level two first. Uh, but inside each level, you go through and you play easy. And I I beat all the levels on easy. And then I'm going back to play medium to kind of build up uh, some more coins. Uh, but you can see up at the top, I have, it says three times the G or whatever mm-hmm. up there. Well, if I go to the store... I don't know if I have to wait and do that until afterwards. Yeah. All right. So I'll pick one. I'll just open this up here. And what level do I like? I like this one. Let's play this one on easy. So you get special things like crates and stuff that fall out of the air every now and then to help repair your, you know, tanks and whatnot. Um, But, you know, most of the time it doesn't work for that. You know, you don't get them too often. Oh, we got squished up, didn't we? Yeah. So this one's inter- interesting. You have these uh, buildings here to uh, build base, you know, build guys. So yeah, I'm going to click on this unit. It's a tank unit. Put him over here. Suck. Click on this guy. Come over here. Uh, these paths that you see are what the, the guys walk on. Uh-oh. When they come in, and then the tent here builds different units. You have a gunner, uh, like a over-the-shoulder rocket launcher that attacks tanks, and a flamethrower guy. Uh, and they cost two, three, and five un- uh, coins. And then you have uh, tank purchasing on this one up here. And when you kill guys, they give you coins. Uh, when you're setting up at the very beginning, you see on the top right side there's a countdown, and that's telling you when uh, the guys, sir, yes, the bad sir. guys, are going to yes, be coming. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. Unfortunately, you only can click on one of these at a time hmm. and move them. Yes, sir. And there's always the advertisement down there. I would like to see uh, them remove th- this advertisement yes, or sir. at least allow you to buy like a removed version. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. That's kind of difficult. So, so yes, I'll sir. click on this guy, bring him over here. Sometimes they're <laughs> stupid, like they'll walk yes, in. Sir. If they can't get around, you know, the way you think they should be able to, then they just won't do anything. 
Uh, but you can move your guys little by little too. Uh, you can click on him. You don't have to click to another space. You can just hold down on your guy and drag him a little bit and he'll walk around. So you can kind of find position him. And you just click on those coins uh, when they come around to do it. And you see a save there. Wave bonus of 250. So now it's telling me that tanks are coming. Uh, I don't have enough money to... I have enough money to buy some gunners. Yes, some regular machine gunners, but no more of these uh, rocket launcher guys. Hmm. So on the top right, I'm just going to click on that number. It's going to count it down real quick. And go ahead and let the guys come. Uh, so I'm looking for these tanks to come and be destroyed so I can collect a coin. Uh, so I'll have three and I can buy another rocket launcher guy. The, the thing I like about this is it is the tower defense. Uh, but again, it's just a little different. You know, you can move the yeah. units around. And that's kinda, not your typical tower defense game. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of like... Uh, Command and Conquer. Oh. Yes. yes. But like in a tower defense kind of mode. Yes, exactly. So I, you know, I love this. I really do. <laughs> That's cool. Oh yeah. But you know, you play through and collect your coins. Uh, let's see what we got coming up next. More tanks. So I'll go over here and just buy a tank. Totally Command and Conquer. Oh my gosh. And if you click on one of your guys over here, you can see his radius. I don't know if that shows up very well. Not probably with this white background. Uh, um, but that's, oh, yeah, you can kind of see yep. it. But that's like his attack area huh. you can view. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this. I'm going to hit settings, and you know, you're going to go to open faint, which does all your good stuff You know, for sharing scores and getting achievements. Rate it. Turn, I have the vibration turned off. You can change your audio settings right here. Turn on some of this music. See if you like that. Ooh, explosions. Uh, but once you... I feel like it's the A-team. Yeah, once you get some uh, coins built up, you go in here and you can upgrade the different teams. Unless you're playing uh, for the Bundeswehr, you don't want to like upgrade them because they're... Their guys will be upgraded fighting against you. It makes the game harder. Um, but they have all kinds of cool stuff in here to upgrade. Your gunners, your rocket launchers, uh, the vehicles, mm -hmm. and then the special units, which are the, the fire guys. Uh, there might be more units later. Again, I've only played the, the first level. I'm trying to uh, build up some of the stuff on here. But uh, I'm definitely into this game for the long haul. <laughs> You know, it's it's good stuff. Let me pull up one of these maps that that I haven't played before. Oh. Big armies increase aggression. Mm, get the mob mentality built up, huh? So, the, and they always give you a tip at the very beginning, and your clock isn't running yet. So you can look at the tip, uh, and not have to worry about you know the guys are coming or whatever. So they want you to get some burning helmets or whatever and see on this one you have guys positioned around the town already that you can grab looks like they gave me two guys so I'll get the gunner over here on this one you should be able to see the targeting area that I was referring to better like when I click on him boom you can see where he can shoot so let's go up here uh, and of course it's tower defense so what you're defending are any buildings that have a star on top and uh there's a rocket launcher guy. Pull him over here too. So it's not necessarily the ones that are producing the units for you. It's uh, yes. whatever they tell you is a base that needs to be defended. And they usually put them into pretty uh, hard to defend Str places. Strategic <laughs> targets. Yeah. So come over here and produce. I like having yes, sir. Yes, sir. a few gunners. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, you know. Sir. Yes, sir. So I can mod them up here. But uh, one of the good things, though, if they come through and get far enough through all your guys that they destroy a base, it's not the end of the world. There's more than one base usually, uh, you know, to defend. But if they do, it gives you a crap ton of coins here to collect so that you can build up an army again. Uh. Like right where the destroyed base is, it just pays you a bunch of coins. So pretty cool stuff. Um, again, this game is free on the market. And I just I highly recommend that you check it out. Don't really know what else to say about it. So, 
again is I like tower defense games this one's just it's a little bit of like uh, like I like that command and conquer tower defense mm -hmm. style game yeah nice little hybrid and it's free it can be free hey now what does the paid version give you 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 just buy coins so if you want to buy upgrades for your units oh. then you can they're in-app purchases <sighs> Okay. So, you know, for whatever. I've been playing it. I haven't really felt that, you know, it would make the game easier. Um, but I haven't felt like they've handicapped the game so much that you have to buy coins. Yeah. Didn't you say there was ads over part of it? Yes. On the bottom of the screen, there's always advertising down there. Was there? It it's would be nice if, there? yeah, it would oh. be nice if you could get around it. But I kind of, I kind of ended up ignoring it. Yeah. Well, you will eventually uh, hit the button on it, though. So, oh. like, if I go. I'll go back over here to this easy thing here, and it will pull it up. But it's down here on the bottom. Yeah. You're going to end up hitting the ad. Well, especially because you know, that's right where you click. Yeah. Make you click See, it's it. always down there. Mm. What happens if you accidentally click it? Does it pause your game? Yeah. And I think, I'll test it. I think that this game, yes, for some of them, Sometimes when I'm playing the game and you drag like over to a corner, yeah. uh, it'll pause it when you didn't want it to. Mm. So it's kind of annoying. But yeah, look, this one's complicated. Yeah, they got all these curly cues and stuff in here. Right. So. Oh. But yeah, it's a pretty cool game. Uh, a lot of different maps, and again, there's levels on there I haven't even unlocked yet. So. I'm definitely going to be playing this more. You'll see me uh, checking in on this on Hayes app quite a bit. Nice. <laughs> so, and for free, you can't beat it. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, this next one I'm reviewing is just for the pure pleasure of all of the lol cat references that are in it. So, I haven't let Dave see it yet. No. Because I want his real reaction first to the music. Okay. Let's uh, bring up the title here. It's called techno kitten adventure okay and just look at that kitty over here like Whoa, he's oh such that's a awesome. sad little kitty oh he is a sad kitty uh, should it's i a, turn the bass up on the music here yes so we can really get bass some. up are you ready for this i am almost ready right. i'm launching it now okay techno kitty adventure oh yes techno kitten adventure yeah, options, O-P-S-H-U-N-Z. And every time you click on a menu item, it uses, it does a cat thing. Credits, back, see, it's all misspelled or whatever. Ooh. All kinds of little cat references. So, uh, here's the dream pack. And wow. uh, jetpack kitty, K-I-T-T-E-H. And this is free, uh, but you can only play up to a 30,000 point score. I don't know if it's, if you can see it. If you hit those uh, little outline shapes or whatever, then you die. It's like that. It's like a helicopter game. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. You press on the screen and the kitty goes up. You let go and the kitty goes down. Uh, but uh, you can play this, again, for free up to a 30,000 point score. And look, here come the laser lights. Look at unicorns, laser lights, all kinds of crap on here. Oh man, I can't believe I did that. But me, I'm just trying to beat that 30,000 score that I got because I just purchased it then before I came over. I'm like, all right, 99 cents. Once I got to the. Th Dang it. Yeah. I tell you what, it's harder to play these games on the show. <laughs> yeah, because you're talking. Yeah, exactly. But just for the awesome music, the unicorns, the stars, the rainbows, I mean, come on. This is this is yeah. full of total... Like, this could only be better if when you won, it did a, like a Rick roll or whatever. Can I get the high score or something? Or is this... I don't know if it's going to give you seizures, though, if you're out of left. Wow. I gotta get that 30,000 high score. I got clear up there. Ah! Get so close. It's all the distracting flashing lights. Oh my 
gosh. These arrows and stuff, or whatever they are. <laughs> They don't have lols, lolzs like floating around. <laughs> this is so hard to score high on. There's unicorns. Yep. Come on. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're getting there. Giant rainbow. So I got the high score now. Pretty excited about that. You should be. It's quite an accomplishment. Let's see how far I can get. All time high score. This is it's funny too, when I first started playing this, I wasn't sure what I was running into that was killing me. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I could see that. <laughs> like, there's so many different things. Go. All right. So, high score 71,420. Good stuff. That's a jetpack. So you can change your kitty at jetpack and we'll go with butterfly kitty. You know? Oh wow. Does does it behave any differently? No. no. The controls are all the same. <laughs> <laughs> the lasers and everything too, right? Isn't this crazy? I'm gonna change kitty to uh, the dream kitty. Oh okay. Oh that kitty is do so well. It's like twitching or whatever, like it's running. I do like how it does that every time. And coming soon is going to be the cloud pack and the lava pack. So, I uh, just for the sheer awesomeness of all these references and the the bad, you know, uh, original Nintendo style graphics, Techno Kitten Adventure. And again, it's kind of a free game. I mean, it's free up to, you know, 30,000 points. If you want to be a real player, you know, break that 30,000 barrier. 99 cents. Not that bad of a deal. Yeah. And this is, the, this is the one thing I have against it. If I just hit home and I go to the home screen, the music keeps playing. Really? Yeah, that's it. So you're on the home screen now? Yeah. This is perfect. If I go, if I go back into the app, what's wrong with this one? What's wrong with that? Are you yeah. If I hit the home button, it should just stop. But if you hit back, oh, it stops. Okay. So, whatever. That's that's the Android multitasking for you. I mean, I know you're not used to that on the having those problems on the iPhone or the iPad because you don't have real multitasking. Yeah. I actually am used to having those problems because the little bit of multitasking the iPad does is music is very, <laughs> very annoying. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, it's music. At least it's not as annoying as like on the Google TV. Yeah, well, but at least Pandora now asks, yeah. you know, if you want to keep playing the music, but only sometimes. It's not even consistent. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that was a disaster. Yeah, It'd just play all the time. Gosh, I can't wait for this update. I know. I'm telling you what, it's gonna be awesome. Mm-hmm. Well, I think that's everything that we had for the show today, right? Yeah. App reviews, some pretty awesome stuff. Closing out with the Lolcats. Uh, if you want to find more of these episodes, uh, please visit our website, theandroidappshow.com. We have, uh, of course, video, audio, and show notes. So you have links out to everything that we talk about on here. You can just one-click and go over and install it, mm -hmm. or one-click and read the stories yourselves. Yeah. Or you can one-click and follow us on Twitter. We are on Twitter. That is at Android App Show, and you can follow us. We give updates on there. We uh, tweet about things that are coming out. As soon as we get the Google TV update, we will tweet about that also. Big time. Um, <laughs> yeah, because it's going to be cool. And, Lane, what We're also we on YouTube. Uh, you can watch full episodes uh, at youtube.com slash the Android App Show. And subscribe and get automatic updates for when new ones are published. That's cool stuff. Also, if you like this kind of show and you want more shows like this kind of stuff, we're part of the Blueberry Podcast Network where you can find great content by independent producers. It's just really making the internets. Yeah, there's something exciting. out there that's going to It's It is like what the way the internet should be. You yeah. Know, small time people or whatever doing their thing. Yeah. It's that's, a revolution. It's, Blueberry. it's a revolution in media content. I agree. Yep. So... 
Thanks for, thanks for watching, everybody. It was a fun show this week. Yeah, hopefully. Well, I'm, I'm super excited about these Google TV apps. <laughs> super excited about it. <laughs> well, I've been seeing quite a few, like, kind of make that transition. Like, uh, what yeah. was it, Flickster? Flickster, a great fit. Like, you can watch movie trailers on your TV, buy tickets yeah. right from your TV. And they're going to be coming out with Netflix right mm-hmm. away. Like uh, an app? Uh, yeah. A, a straight up app. And, but there's no Hulu Plus at launch. Yeah. But, you know, Who whatever. I'm not so paying like, for Hulu Plus. A lot of people use it. I'd pay for it if it was on Google TV. You know, I might. But I have my computer hooked up to my TV, so. You do? You have yeah. a Google TV and a computer? Yeah, isn't that crazy? The TV's got the PC input, and the computer is just in the foyer, so just super long cable. It works. Yeah, I just got to get a uh, a digital coax cable to run over to my surround sound from the computer <laughs> Ooh, that'd be cool. so i can get the full experience in the in the living room one thing at a time right mm-hmm. <laughs> you can only <clears throat> and who knows when the apple tv is going to come out that yeah, was like apps, i I, yeah, whatever. I don't think they're going to run apps on the apple tv it's going to only work with devices i don't know i gotta i i have to read that biography for steve jobs I'm, yes yes This is a homework assignment for me. (laughs) Read? What are you talking about? Read? (laughs) I mean, when I say read, I mean listen to as an audiobook. Yes. That's what all cool people do. Yeah. But we're not going to tell you where to get that because they're not a sponsor. No. Which is weird because if you did signed up, you could have got it for free on your uh, trial. Too bad. You can't do that. There's no place to get it online. Sorry. Not that we know of. No. Sorry. No. The Android market. (laughs) <laughs> get it on Amazon maybe oh yeah Amazon owns those people you don't know that oh shoot <laughs> get it on iTunes there you go wait no no not it's on this show it's the exact show. same own, not it's on the exact show. same content what are you talking about the iTunes audiobooks yeah are through Audible oh is it yeah <laughs> wow <laughs> total ownership total. oh you said the name now shoot they're not sponsoring us mm. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. That was a super fun show. Yes.